grieved are you to have uh, your first business <laughs> experience in the National <laughs> Hockey League in the rearview mirror? Yeah, it's nice to get that done. It's nice to be back in camp and with the guys. Um, it sucks missing time, so it's uh, it's just great to get that uh, you know that contract done, and, and now it's just time to focus on hockey. So it's a great feeling. I'm sure there's always lots of advice shared if it's solicited, but I'm just kind of wondering, Cole, was there ever a point where you got in touch with Cam or whoever it was that was carrying on the negotiations uh, to say, okay, here's my timeline, here's when I want to make sure I'm back on the ice with my teammates? How did that all play out? I mean, yeah, obviously I think, you know, where both sides are working together. We're working, I'm working with my, you know, side to, to figure out a plan. And um, I think, obviously, no one wants to miss time. No one wants to miss camp. I think uh, from the get-go, I've always wanted to um, to be a part of it from day one. And obviously that wasn't the case. But um, just try to get it done, you know, in a, in a, in a good time and, and just make sure that I'm not missing too much. And um, that was the biggest thing for me. I just want to be back with the guys, wanted to be in the room with the group and, um you know, you wait all summer for that, and then you have to wait a couple extra days. It was just, it was nice to walk into the rink today and, and have that feeling kind of gone and just being able to focus on hockey. From your perspective, Cole, why did it go as long as it did? Just, uh, I think just trying to find a, a number that worked for both sides. I think, um, you know, obviously it's it's the business and, and, you know, my first time through it all. So I, I was kind of learning as we went along. and. Um, I think just trying to find a, uh, like I said, a number that's going to work for both sides, that both sides are happy, and um, you know, I think we found that. Is it tough at all Cole, to separate the business from personal and not take any of this personally? Kevin Shoveldayoff spoke last week about how you know he'd love to give you the moon. He said if he could. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like you have to understand it's a business, and and they're not just going to you know give away money for no reason. That that's it's simple. It's uh, everyone understands that, and. Um, so it's uh, it's just you know try not to take it personal. Obviously, um, you know you know where you stand compared to other guys, and and you obviously want to you know be in that range. And um, so I think just trying to, um, like I said, find a number that works for both sides. Be happy, um, get to play hockey again. So that's the biggest thing. Just get to be at the rink. And um, yeah, it was uh, it was it was definitely a learning process. And um, just say it's glad it's over with. And yeah. I know you were skating with the guys before camp formally started. Did you stay in Winnipeg the whole time, or did you ever zoom back home? Or? Yeah, I was just training, um, just training here, and then uh, um, found a good group of guys to skate with, and and was working out, and um, so yeah, I was uh, I was able to uh, to have a group of guys and and stay on the ice, and and you know went out there today and didn't feel you know step behind or anything. So it was uh, it was good. It was able able to skate four or five times. So it was it was, uh, it was good. Uh, Good what I did, and was lucky enough to find a good group. Oh, who is that? Betting on yourself is a, well, betting on yourself is a term that's commonly attached to a bridge deal. In your instance, uh, how would you characterize the two-year contract? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think goes like goes without saying. Now it's you know, ball like you just got to go play for two years. Like I think uh, that's what a bridge deal is: is you have two more years to prove yourself and and uh, to go show what you can do on the ice. I think. You know, I'm going to use this year to take, try and take a big step in my game and, and um, you know, hopefully play as good as I can and, and as good as I can for this team and take that next step. And then, um, yeah, like, uh, a bridge deal is all about, uh, I wouldn't say betting on yourself, but I would just say an extra two years to go prove, you know, um, what kind of player you are, what you can do for this organization. And, and that's my goal every day is just to go be the best player that I can be and um, revisit this in two years. Was there a specific turning point yesterday during the day where you kind of said, you know, let's get this done at, at a certain point, or how did it come together quickly, or just was progressing to that anyways? Yeah, it was just progressing. It was just progressing, yeah. So last year you mentioned how you wanted to be a center, and that was kind of your goal. This year, from what Scott said, it seemed like you'll be on the wing. Throughout your conversations with Scott in the summer, were you under the impression you'd be on the wing, and what has that dialogue been like? Yeah, we didn't really talk too much about positioning. Um, I think uh, we'll find out in the next couple of days. Obviously, today was a special teams day, so... Didn't uh, get into line work or anything, but um, haven't spoke too much about positioning or you know all that kind of stuff. He was kind of he was great with it, just letting me try to figure out um, the contract side of it, the business part, and then and then we'll focus on hockey now. But we had some great conversations throughout the summer, and um, feel really good coming in. So uh, not too sure what's going to happen, but we'll uh, you know we'll see in the next couple of days. What encouraged you the most from those conversations with Scott? What was the just I think that opportunities you know opportunities going to be there and. You got to go make the most of it. It's gonna, you know, it's up to me. It's gonna be in my hands. I think um, that's all you can ask for as a player is a, is a chance, and then you obviously got to take it and run. So that's kind of my 
my model right now is just to every little bit that I can get is just be the best that I can can at that roll or at that extra little bit of ice or whatever the heck it is. It's it's just uh, being the best that I can at that whatever's given. So hopefully to, to earn more is cool. always the goal. Cool. Building on the idea of, you know, you've got these next two seasons to kind of show what you can do. Given the way that the season ended last year, um, do you feel like you have something to prove? 100%. I think obviously I didn't wasn't too pleased with how it went personally for me down the stretch, I think. Um, but I think, you know, last year, all things considered, still was a pretty decent year. I think, you know, started off really strong and um, proved that I can, you know, produce in this in this league. And obviously, um, it didn't go like that the whole year. But I think, you know, I'm just going to use that as motivation, take the good from it, and, and obviously take the learning the learning curve and, and um, try to just be the best that I can be. I think it was a great summer back home. Train, training was great. Um, feel really good coming on the ice. And then obviously those skates before uh, – before camp, I felt fantastic with the guys, and you know today was a good day. So, um, just trying to get better every day and take what I what, what happened last year and um, just build off it and, and and just try to be the best player. Whatever it is or whatever exact line it is, one thing Scott Arneal has been pretty clear about is he views you as a top six four with power play potential. I mean, after some of the minute stuff of last year, how meaningful is it just to have that confidence so publicly stated about you? Yeah, it's great. Obviously, that's the f confidence is huge in this league. I think when you confident in your game and your in your ability and yourself, then you're gonna, you know, carry that confidence and swagger onto the ice, and you're gonna make more plays. You're gonna feel better on the ice. So having that confidence from the get go, I think, is is big. Um, you know, it's huge for the mental side of it, and then you're just going to go out and play your game. And I think that's the biggest part for me is um, this year I just got to go do my thing, play my game, what got me here to this point. Um, and, you know, it's uh, it's really nice to hear that. Obviously, you, you want that you want that opportunity. You want, you want want Everyone wants more. Um, and, and I think that's why you have such a – that's the competitive edge in everyone. So um, it's great to hear that. Obviously, you know, the opportunity is going to be there, and now I just got to make the most of it side of, of things when those days got long you're like okay I'm you know missed the first couple of days of camp and you needed a support system was it agency side was it family side you know what were you doing to get through that stuff yeah I think obviously my family was was with me throughout the whole process too they're on my side and just wanted whatever was best for me whatever I wanted to do they just wanted to make sure that I was happy and and um you know, make sure that whatever decision we made as a, as a family and as a, as a group that it was going to be the best for, for us as a whole. And um, so I think, it, you know, they were super, super thrilled last night. It was a great, uh, great feeling to be able to, se to se celebrate that over the phone, I guess. But it was, it was great to, you know, just accomplish that. It's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to do that. And, you know, I'm pretty grateful for that. And, my whole family. Uh, that group you referenced, uh, Cole, that you were skating with during the who, who were the guys? Like, were they Moose guys? Were yeah, they just there's just guys here that are still in town that were um, AHL guys, um, some some Coast guys. Just had, before they were heading out to camp, so um, still a good skate, still good pace, and um, you know it was uh, wasn't like a training camp skate, but it was it was still you know I, I felt like I I got what I needed from it, and you know came here today and felt pretty good on the ice, so didn't feel like I was a step behind, so it was good. Trading with Matt Nickel last year, what were the things that you tried to work on this year as you worked to level up? Yeah, I mean, this was a great summer with him. You know, obviously had some, some, you know, disrupted summers in the past, um, training-wise. So this uh, this summer was was great. You know, got got in there super early in, in May, and then and, and you know, it was a, a long three four months of of just great training. He's obviously super smart, and uh, we have a great group there in Toronto, and. Um, you know, feel really good coming on the ice. I think this is the best I've ever felt going onto the ice and, um, you know, put on some weight and, and feel a lot stronger on the ice, a lot stronger off the ice. So um, it was uh, it was a great summer and, you know, it's always a, it's always great to, to be able to train with that group and, and with Matty. How much did the final game you played last season, the playoff game, serve as a starting point for this year to add to your toolbox and just when you think of the way that you played that game, strong against the walls, strong in the corners in a, in a high stakes game? Yeah, it was good. I mean, get the first playoff game out of the belt or under the belt. It was obviously fast pace, and um, we didn't get the result we wanted. And obviously, would have loved to have played a couple more last year. But at the same time, it was uh, a great experience. And like you said, it was uh, took a couple shifts to get going, but it felt once I got going, it felt great. And um, you know, it was a good, uh, just another you know stepping stone in in the in the development path. That first playoff game is big and. Um, I mean, it's the fastest hockey game I've ever played, so it's like it's not going to get any faster, really. So um, that was uh, 
really good for me and good for the confidence to get in there and um, be able to make some plays and, and feel good in that game. So um, they're obviously they were really good last year. So to be able to go in there and make some plays and and um, and feel good on the ice was huge for me. And so I'm just going to try and you know carry that on. Dollars, you know, it would have had to have been the right fit, but would you have been open to a long term had it not gone bridge? I mean, yeah, I've, I've said it in the past that I've wanted to be here long term. And, you know, I love the city. I love this organization. And, um, you know, I've, I've, I've kind of tried to say that in the past and, and show um, that I wanted to be here. Um, obviously, that wasn't the direction we went. And, um, you know, we'll revisit it in two years. But, um, yeah, it would have been great. But at the same time, just focused on hockey now and, and time to, uh, you know, just worry about this season and, and, and day by day.